Hello, my name's Phil from Got Memories. Thank you for submitting a quote. I am going to show you in this video what you probably have, how to organize it, and what you get back, and some of the added advantages of going through me at Got Memories, and also some of the pitfalls that many, many people fall into because they're not educated on this type of thing. So I'm going to cover all of these things in a couple minutes here, and hopefully you'll be able to make an educated decision that's going to put your mind at ease on whether you're going to you know, go through with me, or if you do go with another company, that they're checking all of these boxes as well. So without further ado, I'm sure a lot of you are looking at this thinking, wow, this looks very familiar. It is a mess in its current form, and you've probably been staring at a box of this stuff for many, many years, and it's labeled, unlabeled, it's just weighing on you, that angst of this stuff deteriorating, and where do you begin and end with it all? Um, yes, it can be very daunting. And even for me transferring this stuff, it, it's a pain, <laughs> to put it politely. But I make it really easy for you on the back end. So, um, and then once it's done, it's done forever. And um, I'll go through some of that as well. So if you are overwhelmed and daunted by, you know, things like this, there's chicken scratch on everything. You don't know what to do with it. You can either number it yourself or I take care of it with these stickers here. And then each tape gets its own file. And you can see right here, there is a neat directory. And if there's no chicken scratch written on it, um, I go above and beyond to kind of scan through if there's any date references or, you know, if I see a birthday party, I'll put birthday party. Um, and then you can quickly go through them when you click on it pops up very quickly. It's all very efficient MPEG-4 files that I create. And you go through that quickly. You can edit these, you can put them on your phone, you can play the drives on smart TVs. You can rename it, rearrange it, whatever you think you want to do in your head. It is possible with the MPEG-4 files. One thing that I do uh, is boost the audio so everything is a lot louder than it originally was. Uh, let's have a look here. And so you can go through two hours right here of content that quickly. And if I play the audio, let's see. Comes through nice and loud, clear picture. And also trim off the back end so there's no, all this dead space. But, the main thing is there a clear picture, which is very, this is the big point here you need to take heed of. So if I put this tape in, you will see a clear picture. And this is a 30 year old tape, clear picture and audio. Now, you might see other companies online and their reviews aren't very good. And this is why. Now watch this. Same videotape. Playing to play. Look at that. That is the same videotape playing with the dog. If I put this in, back in the other machine, I'm gonna follow it so you know that it's the same tape. Let's put that in there. Hit play. Now this is huge, and I'll tell you why this is happening. Is because all of these companies out there are not cleaning their heads. Here's all of the solvents right here. These are head cleaning chamois, and these tapes are deteriorating with time. So particles get clogged on the heads, and it disrupts the picture and audio. And it is imperative that the heads are maintained to get a clear picture. But unfortunately, many companies are just not paying attention. They don't care and it blows my mind. And the cheeky thing is, is that when you get your tape back and it looks crappy, they put a sticker on it that says, due to the age of your media, your tape has deteriorated and the digital copy is crap. 
When it's an absolute load of BS, they're not cleaning their heads. So try get a ref trying to get a refund, trying to get them to admit to anything on their side is very difficult. Um, you end up in all this drama. Some people get at blue, nothing but blue screen. Um, so unfortunately, they get it wrapped up into all of this stuff. And yes, you thought you were getting a good deal. But at the end of it, as you know, all of our parents and grandparents have told us, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Uh, you buy cheap, you buy twice. Um, you get what you pay for. I mean, it, all of these things are true with everything, but especially this, and especially when you've got one copy of your home movies and you are entrusting that copy to a company that is just going to be hacking them. Um, unfortunately, not mean that many people know about this and not many people, there's the people that do and they don't care. They're like, eh, I'm going to pay 300 bucks to get all this done. Yeah. This was over a thousand dollars to get this done. So I'm being very upfront with cost. It is, it does take money. It does take time. I'm nowhere near the most expensive, but I'm not the cheapest and I do not compete with all of these online box companies that you see up here, which I've got customers jobs right now. They just ship them in the boxes. You can see here, they've seen videos and they're like, screw that, send it to Got Memories. Um, and so you, you've got to be really careful. And also <laughs> two things here to note if you are shopping around, which is natural to do, is to go to Google and look up reviews. You must see a 5.0, ideally 4.9, hundreds of reviews. And that is going to ensure quality. Customer service, turnaround times are a couple of weeks versus six months with some of these online box companies. And also a YouTube channel. This day and age, no reason why a video transfer company can't have somebody within their staff or the owner making videos like this to show you complete transparency. So you've got that extra warm and fuzzy feeling that you're the only copies of your home movies are in trusting, capable hands. So with that said, thanks again. And hopefully this has kind of given you a little bit of a, an educational uh, backstory into what you get back and also things to look, for, uh, to, to look out for as you're um, searching around to trust somebody to do your project. All the best and hit me up, gotmemories.com um, or reply to the email or text that I've sent and uh, all the best. Cheers.